We are starting soon. Are you ready? Okay. So, good morning. As Recording usual, in progress. We are starting with the concept, case study, and understanding of one of a great remedy, Apis Malefica. So, to understand the remedy in a proper sense, we have to understand the source and from where this remedy belongs to. So today's my topic is insect group and case study of Epis Malefica. Jai Predicti Homeopathy. This is the platform from where we are sharing our experience and what we learn from Dr. Praful Vijaykar sir in real sense. So sir always says sharing is caring. So before starting something, I would like, like to quote one of the uh, quote of Dr. J.S. Clark, which was written in the therapeutic of cancer. We are told and have proved that we are told and have proved that those who ask, receive. Those who seek, finds. And to those who knock, the door shall be open. Let us ask largely. Let us seek honestly and the door to knowledge, hope and happiness for ourselves and others shall be open. This is a very beautiful quote by Dr. J. H. Clark. That when you are a seeker of a knowledge, when you are a receiver for the knowledge, the knowledge will flow from the cosmos to all of you. The same way, sir always says, knowledge has to be shared. So today I am sharing with you my clinical experience along with my understanding of the remedy and what sir has taught us. See, any fault lies in the expressions and understanding all are of mine. So please pardon me for that. And if you are benefited from this, so please give a wonderful credit to our sir, Dr. Praful Vijaykar sir, who have taught us this wonderful science in a very modern way. So, to start with anything, I will give tribute to our master Samuel Hanneman, who taught us dare to be wise. Without masters, we are nothing. So this is what the blessings of the master to all of us. And they taught us that when you, you have to practice homeopathy, you have a courage, you have a dare to practice. So this is what we have to understand in our sense of learning, that to be wise. <clears throat> With the blessing of our Guru, Dr. Praful Vijaykar, sir, and a tribute to our sir, that the sir has given a path and we are following that path in a real sense. When the sir's knowledge has to be used, when the Hanuman's knowledge has to be used in helping the suffering humanity, in a real sense. So, sir always says you have to simplify something and the simplification is nothing but it is a mathematics. So, in the mathematics rule is 1 is to 1, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. It is everywhere. It is a cosmos law. So, same way the homeopathy is like that. 1 is to 1. Is voice is clear? 
please let me know okay fine as you all know myself amit gohel no need of introductions we have a introductions of our group so this is what introductions to uh, insect group so insect the insect are invertebrate animal without a backbone and are included in the arthropods so arthropoda is the largest most dominant group and included about 80% of the known animal species and they are capable of flying entomology entomology is nothing but it is a study of insect so insect are group in a kingdom which is under phylum arthropoda and the class insecta so phylum is arthropoda class insecta so the classification so insect are classified in the following seven category one is hymenoptera lepidoptera coleoptera orthoptera hemiptera diptera and siphonoptera these are the name related to certain component so no need to remember this name but we have to understand which remedy come from which classification and which group of the class so for that we have to classify a insect in a certain group so we have hemiptera so hemiptera consists of the remedy apis mellifica anibi which we are going to learn today the second is apium virus it is nothing but the poison of the bee the same symptoms what boric has mentioned is apis mellifica and apium virus has the both has the same symptom but we are together understanding what is the pathophysiology of poison in our this lecture today's lecture the another hemiptera group remedy is formiga rufa very under, uh, wonderful remedy for we known about this formiga rufa is a uric acid diathesis another is vespa crab root the common was it is from the hemiptera group another group we have orthoptera so in orthoptera we have a blatta americana the great american cockroach and another is blatta orientalis it is indian cockroach you all know the therapeutic indications of blatta orientalis specifically in asthma the another group which is lepidoptera lepidoptera consist of bombyx chrysoria it is a brown tail moth another remedy is bombyx processinia the procession moth coleoptera the remedy consists is cantharis vesicaptera it is spanish fly so we understand the apis is from another group cantharis from another group. both are the fly but the, their class is different so their indications and their understanding also different another remedy is the coccinella septum pancata the indian ladybug torifora the colorado potato bug you know coccinella septum indian ladybug the insect which consists of the black mouth and the red uh, wings and the black dots on that this is indian ladybug another tritema the kissing bug the fifth is hemiptera hemiptera consists of chinopodium glossy apis the plant lies from chinopodium it is a kind of lice another is cynex acanthia indian bad bug everybody known about the bad bug the blood suckers and mostly it is used in the malaria the cynex the indications of the cynex is malaria coccus cacti the coccinella insect the insect which is present in cactus that's why the name is called as coccus cacti i will share some of the my clinical experience with coccus cacti today another remedy is pediculus capitis head louse 
see when the person suffering from pediculus capitis we have a therapeutic indication for boric mentions in our materia medica the remedy is carbolic acid pediculus cutis the sixth group is diphtheria so diphtheria consists of culex musa the culex mosquito the culex mosquito is producing malaria as a vector remedy Sifenotera, Sifenotera consists of the Culex irritant, a common flea. So these are the basic classifications of the insect. Now we have to understand what are the commonest feature in between this few of the remedy which we are going to learn. So first and foremost things we have to understand the major class, Hymeptera venom. So in Hymeptera venom, what it causes and from that venom, we have to understand the its clinical applications as well as its indications in our clinical setup. So, first and foremost, it functions functions as a haptans. Haptan is nothing but a small molecule act as antigens. So, mostly it happens in our body when venom insert into the human body, it produces antigen antibody reactions and it forms an immunogenic conjugate with the host protein. So when the host protein is become immunogenic conjugate, it produces certain symptoms and the symptoms from the just inflammatory process to the life-threatening anaphylactic response. So most of the time, the persons who are very sensitive, so those sensitive people with this antigen called haptans and when they are sensitive, so in a minutes of injections of this or in a minutes of injections of this antigen, it manifests a respiratory distress, it also manifests the vascular collapse or and finally it leads to the shock and the person may die because of anaphylactic reactions. Are you hearing me properly? Please. I hope from my side the voice is clear. Okay, fine. That's great. Yes, that's great. Fine. So, so what are the manifestations when this uh, venom is going into our skin? So there are a sphere of action of this ven uh, venom in our human body. So when act on the cutaneous manifestation, it produces just a pruritus, itching, and urticaria with or without angioedema. So urticaria is just a wheel-like eruptions on the skin with a very itchy and redness and inflamed. And sometimes this inflammation goes into the mucous membrane, especially on the lower lip and the glottis, it produces angioedema. So it can be localized or it can be generalized. So when it is localized, it produces a pruritus and hectic area. But when it, is, it, it can be uh, generalized, it produces angioedema. There is, you know, on a skin, there is a localized non pitting angioedema may occur, which may be asymptomatic or cause a burning or stinging sensation. So the sensation is very important in this venom. And you have to understand this venom in a very deep sense that most of the insect, when any of the insect bites you, it produces the same sensations like a burning and a stinging. Stinging is something that some has sting you as an insect. And finally, it leads to the burning, redness, heat, and inflammation. When it acts on the GIT, it produces a deeper sense of inflammation in the stomach and uh, GIT. So it produces nausea, vomiting, crampy abdominal pain, and finally diarrhea. When it acts on the uh, respiratory system, so in the respiratory system, it produces laryngeal edema. And laryngeal edema, it is experienced as a symptoms 
in human as there is something stuck up into the throat or either a lump sensation in the throat or there is a inflammation of the larynx which leads to hoarseness of the voice or there is a strider there is a edematous inflammation leading to the change of the voice it is called a strider finally it produces the inner lining of the bronchial uh, inflammations and it may obstruct the bronchus so bronchial obstruction associated with the feeling of the tightness so again another sensation come into the insect group is a tightness you know the first sensations we understood is stinging burning and the feeling of the tightness specifically in the chest and when the chest is tight there is a feeling of the bronchial obstruction so our respirations become wheezy so it is a audible wheezing when it leads to the angioedema of the epiglottis and the larynx and to the some extent into the hypopharynx and trachea it causes mechanical obstructions when there is a mechanical obstruction to the airway the air is compromised and the finally the air is compromised the person may end up with the death so this is what a very fast remedy so most of insect are sorosyphilitic sorosychotic or psychosyphilitic so we have to understand this in a miasmatic perspective also this is just we are understanding the venom the effect of venom in the body so it acts on the uh, cardiovascular system so in a cardiovascular system it produces uh, congestions visceral congestions with a loss of intravascular blood volume leading to vascular collapse and death so again a deeper sense of actions on the card again it produces triple vessel disease okay apc is used as a natural bypass what our sir dr jitesh chosalia has used in this case apc is used apc venom is used in natural bypass thrombosis of the vessels there is a collateral circulation it stimulate the collateral circulations so what is the general features from this venom we have to understand the general features of the insect so what are the general features so most of remedy affecting the side is right sided rather than the left sided so most of the right sided remedy is affecting when there is a rubric in uh, uh, murphy repertory thrombosis collateral veins circuit unusually develop i will show you this rubric in our para uh, affinity so there is a affinity right sided and left sided there is a sensations see we learn from the source that the sensation is a burning so the most of the insect remedy has a burning pain and sensations when there is sensations they are sensitive specifically sensitive to touch so most of the insect remedy are very very sensitive to touch it produces swelling puffiness edema dropsy or ascites this is nothing but a presentation is inflammation going to the psychosis in psychosis it produce accumulations of the fluid in a particular area is if if it is around the eye it produce puffiness if it is around the serous tissue it produce edema if it is around in the abdominal cavity it produce a dropsy and ascites so most of the insect act on the urinary tract and the symptoms of urinary tract common to the urinations is burning there is a frequent urgency and there is a frequency so these are the very important aspect of insect general feature it act on the female complaint specifically ovarian affections it act on the skin it produce urticaria in a milder form 
for angioedema in a severe form. It acts on the blood vessels. It produces hemorrhage, especially dark, black, and sometimes it may clot. When you find there is inflammations, there is a burning urinations, and there is a joint where the inflammations with the edema, dropsy in the joints, it produces a rheumatic affection. So most of the rheumatic affections either are inflammatory or a chronic. So you can find it in the Materia Medica. So these are the few pictures of the general pictures of the insect. Now we're dealing with the few of the general aspect of the mental picture of the insect group. So first and foremost, there is a mode of attack and defense. So all insects are in this mode of attack and defense. So they are being attacked and they have to defend. They are being attacked, they have to defend. So for that, their mental pictures is something like this. They are very quick, escape and fleeing because they have fear of being attacked, fear of being crushed, fear of being injured or fear of being smashed. So these are, the, they are being crushed or smashed. So in that form, because of insects are very small creatures. So the small creatures having the fear that I might be crushed, I might be smash so for that they have wings and they have to quick escape so the quick quick escape and they escape by fleeing flying this is from the attack to overcome that attack they flew away the quick escape and when there is a defense so in that defense they use their strangers and that stranger is used to poison the predators and that predator being not harming them. So they use strangers. Drop to the ground and pretending the dead. Very important. See, the, in an animal kingdom, there is one of the defense mechanism is a fight or flight response. So most of the animals are going to fly. And when they cannot fly, or they cannot escape from the situations, or they being stuck, they play dead. And that is what they pretend the death. Very important aspect of the insect remedy. Drop to the ground and pretending the death. Most of the insects are chemophiles. They mix with the environment to save themselves from the predator. So this is very important. So to understand this quality, from this quality of uh, doctrine, we have to understand the mental picture of, they are very, very manipulative kind of personality. So what is homeopathic correlation of this Materia Medica? That homeopathic correlation is like, in a patient, the energy manifests as a sudden attack or sudden violence. So the, all the effect, which is very sudden and very violent. Why? Because they have fear of death, especially by suffocations or violence. They have feeling that they are being crushed, they are being mined, they are being pounded, reduced to pulp or smashed. This is the mode of death. So this is the commonest feeling of the person, crushed, mined, pounded, reduced to the pulp or smashed. They are high and impulsive sexuality. As being an animal, they have to reproduce more and more and more. They are remain in the colonies. So they are highly sexuals, highly impulsive and sexuals. There is a restless speed and agility. Especially they are impulsive instinct, fast, furious and hectic. So their action is always restless fast, speed, and impulsive in their nature. So this is just the commonest understanding of the insect group at the mental pictures. Hope are you getting all? So most of the insect have a specific uh, theme. And the theme is related to the restlessness, 
थीम इज रिलेटेड टू द स्पीड थीम इज रिलेटेड टू द एजिलिटी इधर मेंटल और फिजिकल एजिलिटी so their pace is very intense so when you find the intense pace pathology very fast sudden restless speed then you can think of insect remedy in your mind so there is a intense pace there is a hyperactivity so hyperactivity lead to the restlessness so we have to understand another uh, insect is a spider so spider is also insect so same pace is like this okay must be on the move so they must have to be move they must have to be restless less they are running jumping flying etc so when you understand the child come to your clinic and they are jumping on the stage jumping on the sofa jumping on the bed you can think of the remedy is tarantula is the remedy so they are, these are the insect so at mental level also there is a lot of hyperactivity and that hyperactivity lead to the thought wandering so th there are lot of wandering thoughts the rush of and flow of the thoughts and to overcome the thoughts see we have a, a human behavior as a one phenomena thought feeling actions and behavior so when there is the thoughts they have certain feelings and that there is a certain feelings they comes into certain actions and that action become that behavior so when there is a lot of thoughts wandering into the mind flow of thoughts wandering into mind that thought has to come out and that thought is come out by the verbal and in the verbal it produce loquacity they are very hasty hasty in the talk you know there is a intensity of the space the speed is very fast so all insect remedy has fast pace fast speed so their talk is also fast and there is a restlessness at the level of uh, physicality also there is a restlessness at the level of the mind so they want to travel they want to wander and they want to go out so this is always wonder desire to you know in, when you see in a discovery they say that the insect can fly from miles of miles kilometers so this is what a traveling wandering desire to the commonest features of the insect so hope you got a certain clue about the insect are you getting me if we have some interaction then i will have a uh, yes those who have raised hand uh, they can ask the questions or put into chat box so if we have a interaction uh, i will share with you uh, good things and i also learn from all of you because all are the learners so we start with one of my case the case of hemorrhagic cyst so let explore the case the case is very simple but what i have perceived this case in a very uh, clinical manner or in a very inertial so i will share with you the case so case of hemorrhagic ovarian cyst the 34 years female came with the complaint of pain in the right side of the abdomen and pain extend to the back so many a time when there is a pain in the right side and pain extend to the back the first clinical indication that she might having calcula you know so very important so she came with the usg report and the usg report of uh, february 8 2021 suggests you of right sided hemorrhagic cyst in ovary size about 24 by 28 mm so they come to me after consultation with the gynecologist and there is a right side small uh, renal calcula 4.5 mm so they consulted gynecologist and the gynecologist says that uh, it is a uh, uh, hemorrhagic cyst and you need to undergo 
laparoscopic surgeon for that and if you cannot go there must be bursting of the cyst and everything can be happen so this is what you have to go to laparoscopic surgeon so patient came to me that i don't want to go to the surgery please help me so they came to me husband came to me with the reports and the wife so i asked a certain clinical point so menses was last for the 6 days menses black clotted uh, back pain aggravated menses before and during these are the general symptoms but the very important symptomatic is menses black and clotted there is a sensations of burning micturition since 8 days and aggravation during and after urination these are the nutshell of the case taking see when you find this hemorrhagic cyst and there is a pain they may burst off so you should you need to intervene very immediately this is a emergency case so usg report 8 fab 2021 Uh, suggestive of non obstructive right renal calculus 4.5 mm in a lower calyx uh, uterus is normal et was 6 mm there is a 24 by 28 mm hemorrhagic follicle in the right suggestive of right ovarian hemorrhagic cyst minimal proof lead in pod so this was the report so report in not said minimal fluid in the pouch of the glass non obstructive right renal calculi and the hemorrhagic cyst now how to approach this case there is a dispositions the disposition is a patient was very mild type showing us and the husband says one of the pqr symptoms that uh, she is very uh, fast in their work and due to that readiness they having uh, stumble and fumble with the vessels so this is very important uh, dispositions we have that they drop the things from the hand due to the readiness so awkwardness in the work and drop the thing from the hand these are the dispositions generals the patient is very hot thirstless and the affection because two pathology one is the ovarian cyst and the second one is the second one is the renal calculi so this is what uh, the process is going on and these are the general dispositions so follow up so, we have seen the patient on 8 fab of 2021 and i advise give a medicine for the 7 days and advise to follow up after 7 days so patient came back to me on the 19th fab and the usg report suggestive of that the both ovaries are normal in size and eco structures normal eco structures uterus is normal intraverted mild thickening of the cecum and ic junctions noted it was 6 mm thickness no changes of appendicitis calculi of 4 mm in a middle calyx of the right kidney can you appreciate some changes in the patient's report within 8 days so i will show you first report this was the first report suggest you of the right ovarian follicles hemorrhaging okay and in a follow up it was a 8 fab and in a follow up a 19 fab almost a 10 days 11 days after there is a cyst is completely resolved and ovary become normal and there is a reductions in the size of the calculus so patient complaint was burning micturition was reduced mild pain in right sided again there is a pain because of there is a mild thickening of the cecum and ic junctions patient got diarrhea since 2 days why this diarrhea because diarrhea is because of inflammations of the intestine follow up usg done usg suggestive of this 
on 19 feb normal both ovary mild thickening of the cecum and ic junction very infective in nature small renal calculi can you appreciate these things so case work up an analysis so i had used a simple analysis in this case what is the simple analysis the simple analysis is like this what is the miasm sir always says treat the miasm and when the miasm is treating you get the wonderful result so what is the miasm hemorrhage in the ovary follicles and there is a calculi so there is accumulative pathology as well as hemorrhagic pathology so what is the miasm the miasm is psychosyphilitic are you getting me so rubric selected see as a clinician clinician i am using a very simple format and a simple rubric in my clinical practice because sir always says mind can lie body cannot so we have to understand the body first and according to body we have to choose a pathological rubric so i selected following rubric i need to treat the cyst in the ovary so it was a psychotic rubric tumor cyst ovary are you getting me a locations as well as the characteristic of the boger bony hussen as an analysis the location of the process or a spear of actions and there is a pathological point that is a cyst the second rubric i chose was hemorrhage internal you know this two rubric in my clinical practice help me to treat lot of hemorrhagic cyst rubrics hemorrhagic cyst uh, cases in my clinical practice along with i added a disposition of the patients and that disposition will give you a different different remedy and from this different remedy i prescribe and i got a wonderful result so when you find any of a hemorrhagic cyst in the ovary you can take this two rubric directly as a pathological this is my clinical experience okay i had more than 30 cases of hemorrhagic cyst which we which i have treated and wonderfully healed with this two rubrics along with i use a different different dispositions in a particular cases so these are the two rubric now we have to understand what is hemorrhage internal see sir always says there must be cause and the cause is something that you have to treat so in that case i have not treated any cause but i have to the dispositions in the case but when you find there is a hemorrhage so sir always say there is a strong emotions which can lead to the hemorrhage and specifically the anger can lead to the hemorrhage without anger no hemorrhage is happening even fright and fear cannot cause hemorrhage you know so this is what hemorrhage occurs so there is a strong emotions called as anger now we have to understand certain remedy to understand the process hemorrhage internal so this hemorrhage cannot come out you know certain hemorrhage is external like a epistaxis like a bleeding piles like a uh, uh, lots of uh, menstrual menstrual irregularities and much hemorrhage but certain hemorrhage which is internal so in internal hemorrhage there is a anger but anger is covered up. and this anger is covered up and it is going to make a cyst so this is what a certain remedy which is angry inside but cannot show anger outside and they present to us as a mild timid kind of personality in that case you can understand this a pathological rubric is hemorrhage internal hope you getting me i need a interaction that's why i can put you more information for that yeah good so in apis also 
in a disposition wise when you find the apis apis is a very angry remedy but when they come into the clinic you can find as a mild type of remedy so this is what anger is covered up because the predominant myism in apis is psychosis you know so third rubric i took as you know i had put in the case analysis that third rubric is a psychosyphilitic it is a clotted and dark so this is what dark clotted means is very physical symptoms very pqrs according to the myism psychosyphilitic so when i put the myism i took the rubric of myism only so there are questions question also session we will put at the end of the sessions if you have a questions you have to write the questions in your uh, pen and paper and we will have a discussion for the 20 minutes for the question answer at the end of the our sessions i hope uh, dr lucifer i will give your answer at the end of the session please uh, we will continue our journey and then we will have a question answers i took these three rubrics and one of the dispositions what i have showed so repetition is something tumor cyst ovary hemorrhage internal female genitalia menses coagulated clotted dark and the symptoms is drop things awkwardness from these are the commonest symptoms i got and the patient is hot thirstless and right sided so from that we have to understand the hot remedy is lyco platina povista apis and lacasis a right sided remedy is apis and lycopodium povista can be considered to be a right sided or left sided platina is a purely left sided remedy lacasis is a left sided remedy because both are sensitive so out of this lyco and apis i need to differentiate it the symptoms which i got see lyco is also covering the renal stone and apis is also covering the renal stone burning since burning uh, burning also they are in both so on the basis of the dispositions the awkwardness is most commonly found in apis so i prescribe apis mellifica disposition was taken as awkwardness drop from the thick the pda potential differential field is right sided burning urination hot thirstless and i selected apis i prescribe apis 1m bd for 3 days we have a discussion on the potency later on at the end of our sessions so apis 1m bd for 3 days and sl for the 7 days and you got the answer with the follow up report previously that the cyst was resolved normally so what was the learning point from this case so first and foremost sir used to tell that you have to reverse the myism and when you reverse the myism there is a reversal of the process happening into the body so can you find something in the follow up usg report the follow up usg report suggests there is a inflammation of the ic junctions with the mild thickening so that is what suggests you of there is the cyst ovary ovary is comes into the fifth layer fifth layer and the myism was psychosyphilitic so it get reverse to the uh, sura inflammation so this is what the learning point from this case is reversal of the myism first and foremost things very important aspect of our study is reversal of the myism so from psychosyphilitic to the sora because patient presented with the diarrhea and diarrhea is what see i had read uh, follow up book by dr narendra mehta who is a colleague of our sir uh, dr praful vijaykar and in the follow in the follow up book narendra mehta has mentioned that any eliminating symptoms comes after your medication it is a good sign either it is a perspiration either it is any discharge or either it is a diarrhea which is a welcome sign for the betterment of the patient so same way it happened diarrhea into the patients so psychosyphilitic to the 
sura dhairya and there is a mildness thickening so thickening is a part of the psychosis in the sickle it is infective so you know homeopathy act super fast the learning point is reversal of miasma and the homeopathy in the follow up also this ic changes also goes within 3 days without pain and i never inquire another usg after that because patient is better so i have never told them do another usg for just for the sake of my betterment so the patient was better after that and everything was normal so homeopathy again what was that the patient was advised surgery laparoscopic surgery immediate and what was homeopathy has done homeopathy has prevented the surgery so these are the learning point from my side of the case so hope you got the case in clear detail yeah so let's understand uh, the remedy in little detail so apismellifica everybody is known to apismellifica the very and the honey bee remedy so tell me what are the point to know about the apismellifica we have a good chart with the apismellifica before starting my apismellifica tell me what you understood by means of apis mellifica as a remedy few indications so this is a, a, a discussions which help us to uh, share our clinical points exactly dr latha it's edema very good burning very good umesh industriousness exactly very good hot and edema very important jealousy yes absolutely absolutely jealousy dr vishal latha and umesh very good anything else we have edema leadership okay exactly the one aspect is leadership another aspect is the workers very important dr ravi there is a burning stinging pain absolutely physical right sandeep frequent urinations angry and jealousy exactly sandeep dr payal very good yeah dryness and no thirst same like pulsatilla very important symptom purvi perfect busy fruitless very important dominating yes the psychotic miasm is predominating that's why it is a dominating dictatorial very good sandeep anything else you know about the apis good urinary remedy very good bhavish absolutely the sphere of actions on the yeah akash pande sensitive to touch absolutely right very important very anything else apart from this so most of the physical symptoms redness of the part is a sign of inflammations psychosyphilitic intrum collateral thrombosis absolutely sir you are the source of our understanding and learning my sir dr jitesh socially has said that uh, intrum collateral thrombosis sir has shown me one rubric i will show you that rubric uh, first then uh, we will have a discussion i will show you that rubric yes sir has said that yeah dr anand wonderful the soro soric inflammation psychosis accumulation dropsy and syphilis hemorrhage it's a fear of action of apis absolutely right dr anand so i thought you all are genius and you all know about the uh, apis let's i have to conclude the apis here no need to give you any information because all you knows about these things absolutely fine yes anything else uh hasty and hurried absolutely dr chirag perfect this this point is missing till that yes good anything else so when you understand hasty and hurried at the mental level you have to understand 
the fast pace at the physical level also yes dr vishal grief and vexations so mostly the psychotic remedy has a grief and vexations and anger but anger is covered up very good dr ravi dominating absolutely psychotic rubric perfect indifference and stupor yes this when goes into sibilitic state it goes into stupor conditions in different state absolutely dr sandeep anything else so borik has mentioned in epis uh, elens has mentioned in epis is something it is adapted to the stromous constitutions which act on the glands and glands become enlarged indurated along with the open cancer and the serous so when we find open cancer especially of the tongue there is a noma these are the open cancers and there is a serous and when you find indurated glands where you find the indurated glands in cancer it is something that the lymphatic gland affection and what was the cancer of the lymphatic gland is hodgkins disease and non hodgkins disease so in hodgkins disease and non hodgkins disease there is a excess of fibrins gland is enlarged indurations and it is a serous and open type so the first line of the remedy is epis especially in cancer of tongue serous are you are you getting there is one rubric in the uh, epis is something that the tongue is made up of the wood i will show you that rubric are you seeing my slide yes dr kashish stromus stromus is related to the glands affections dr nakum it is acute dustless during fever and dusty during chill very good swelling around the eyes absolutely right so there is a sensation called as tongue is made up of wood delusion body body part tongue is made up of wood and the remedy is epis again the rubric is cancer tongue serous the remedy is epis what sir has uh, said me about uh, dr jitesh sir has said me about the thrombosis when you find the rubric thrombosis with collateral there is a collateral yes the murphy says the rubric thrombosis collateral veins circuit usually develop the only remedy is aptis mellifica are you getting me see can you appreciate this image so in a in a bypass when there is a uh, when there is something that you need to find no need to bypass no need to bypass it help in the collateral of the veins see thrombosis can you see this can you see this type of veins mostly found in the angiography of the patient Hope you got these images. So, these are the few clinical points. So, back to our uh, learning of the Epis mellifica. Yes. When you find the rubric thrombosis, also, then also in a Patak Rapid Rate is written that the Epis and the Ophidia, which is helpful in the thrombosis. so let us explore epis in a little detail hope this interactions will help you to understand in a better sense so this is the picture of the epis means honey bee 
so common name the poison of the honey bee the source the tincture are made up of the whole bee of the poison dilutions and so these are the source i am going little bit faster because of the time so now we have to understand honey bee sting bite when someone was bite with the honey bee what was the characteristic happening to the patient so it is a very characteristic effect of the sting of the bee it furnish unerring indications for its employment in the disease the swelling puffiness of the various part edema red rosy hue stinging pain soreness intolerance of the heat slightest touch aggravates and afternoon aggravation are the some of the general guiding symptoms of the honey bee sting so all you have mentioned is like this erysipelatous inflammations dropsical effusions and ana sarca so from sora it goes into syphilis accumulations acute inflammation of the kidney and other parenchymatous tissue are a characteristic pathological state corresponding to the herpes so there is a parenchyma is involved specifically parenchyma of the kidney is involved most of time when you find polycystic kidney disorders so it is a genetic disorders autosomal dominant genetic disorders travel from the genetic but in that case also you can understand herpes as a pathological indication the sphere of actions it act on the cellular tissue especially eye face fauces fauces especially the pharynx larynx epiglottis and glottis it produce edema accumulations and there is a sensation as if tightness and ovary serous cavity skin kidney and bladder nose it act on the nose it act on the respirations heart and the blood so in a heart i said you one of the indication that it it help in the collateral veins and in the blood it produce a hemorrhage disorganizations and thrombosis so specifically it is a right sided remedy uh pathogenesis so it act on the cellular tissue causing edema of the skin and mucous membrane epid act especially on the outer part the skin and the coating of the inner organ it is a serous membrane it produces serous inflammations with the effusions membrane of the brain heart pleuritic effusion now when you find a serious inflammation in effusion the one remedy come into our mind is the bryonia you know bryonia so bryonia and herpes the so both remedy are right sided both are what both can be thusless both having the actions on the serous membrane both produce accumulations and both having the sensations of the burning but what is differ from the bryonia there is a dryness of the mucous membrane and there is a peculiar sensation of the bryonia is stitching type of sensations whereas in the herpes there is a burning kind of sensation so these are the different sensations which we thought of act on the glands it produce enlargement and induration so i i tell you one thing is it is the alien skin not say that it is a squamous condition uh, constitution means there is the enlargement of the gland so most of most of time you find there is a cervical lymph node is enlarged there is in a later age it produce indurations and it produce a cancerous conditions of the glands specifically lymph uh, lymph lymph node glands cancers and it is called as hodgkins or non hodgkins lymphoma so now we have to understand the action of the viral poisons on the body see previously we have understand the poison of hymenoptera the all the poisons of a uh, class hymenoptera now we have to understand the apis actions so the sting of the either wasps ants fire fire ants or insect contain one thing phospholipase a2 enzyme so very important this this slide is very important for the understanding of the pathological process and by understanding this pathological process you can use this remedy wonderfully in a clinical case the so first is the enzyme which is uh, uh, contain is a phospholipase a2 second enzyme cons consists is hyaluronidase and third enzyme is contain is apamine 
fourth enzyme is contain malatin fifth is a kinin so this enzyme now we have to understand each and every enzymes actions on our body so what phospholysis very important aspect most of the poison consist of phospholysis a2 so what is the actions of phospholysis lipase a2 on our body let us understand so what is phospholipase a2 the phospholipase a2 it is found in the membrane protein which hydrolyzes so what it produce it produce phospholipid to form fatty acid and lysophospholipid product so when the membrane protein become hydrolyzed it phospholipid to form a fatty acid and from fatty acid it produce a lysophospholipid product so what did go when the phospholipid a2 proteins are responsible for the release of arachidinic acid you know the name also suggests from the class arachidinic class so arachidinic acid from the cell membrane and what this acid causes the subsequent conversion of this fatty acid to lysophospholipid stimulate inflammatory leukotrienes so when this arachidinic acid is released it stimulate the fatty acid to form lysophospholipid and in return it stimulate the leukotrienes so leukotrienes is something like interleukin 1 interleukin 2 interleukin 6 interleukin 11 interleukin 18 and this interleukin is going to produce a violent inflammations see we have seen uh, in a covid when the patient is come out of the uh, in uh, psychotic stage and there is a secondary inflammations and that suggested that interleukin so we have done the rubin il6 reports of il6 and il6 is increased so why this because the poison can produce fatty acid destruction of the fatty acid to the lipophosphoacid and in return it stimulate the leukotrienes so leukotrienes and prostaglandin is a part of inflammatory response the first and foremost thing of the phospholipase a2 it stimulate this prostaglandin pathway by stimulating the leukotriene and it produce inflammatory response so inflammation is very sudden and violent leading to inflammatory cyst formation hope you getting me are you getting me yeah so so afis mellifica is working to remove the cyst from the ovary why because its direct actions to produce inflammations and the cyst that's why this is the specific remedy to act and it remove the effect what if, uh, what master anemon has mentioned in organ on third aphorism that the remedy which have the power to act the pathogenic actions on the body then and then that remedy has cure that patient so this is what the pathogenesis so pathophysiological response after beast is body quickly over react with the histamine secretions so when there is a interleukin is stimulated there is inflammation is going on so to, to combat the inflammation at the local level it releases the histamine and the histamine secretions so in histamine secretions from the mast cell usually found in a higher concentration of the skin lung and gastric mucosa so mostly when you find it is histamine secretions at the skin level it produce urticaria wheels it produce gastric mucosa it produce angioedema and inflammations of the inner linings in produce lungs in the bronchi it is called as accumulative inflammations on the bronchi so and histamine is a potent arterial dilator dilator so when there is the arterial dilatation it leading to the hypotension so when there is a hypotension the person might go into the shock and that shock leading to the death so this is what in a lung it stimulate the bronchial constrictions leading to the spasm dyspnea wheezing and finally land into the respiratory collapse so again this is a very important fast remedy in a respiratory collapse when you find angioedema you can use it 
so this is what the actions of the histamine after b is stem now we have to understand the constitution it is suited to the squamous constitutions as said you it is a glandular affections remedy there is a bag like puffy swelling under the lower eyelids under the uh, uh, above the uh, eyelids is different remedy and the whole eyelid is different remedy above the eyelid is calic up lower is apis and whole is phosphorus you know very well in the keynotes so skin is a pale waxy and edematous face very irritable temperaments thermally hot dustless and right sided affections modality being a hot remedy aggravation from the heat and aggravation from the cold i am not going into detail because aggravation by the touch as you all know so this is what the common is modality along with the indications ailment from you all know the the classifications of the honey bee is something that there is a, a feeling of being jealous and the ailment from jealousy is the indications for the case i will share you one of my case of apis uh, a lady came to me i might have uh, shared this case in uh, other uh, other seminars but i will share with you one of the lady uh, who is working as a uh, uh, hosiery shop owner uh, and she came to me with the complaint that there is uh, burning micturations and uh, frequent urging and everything and uh, she has a uti so diagnosis was uti and uh, from that uti see if there is a inflammations and frequent urging and burning micturations and a uti so sir always says you need to find out the conflict and in that case i asked directly uh, what happened recently in your life so she said nothing but there is a cause without cause nothing is happening you know so same way i asked something is happening in your business also so she directly said that uh, uh, i am i have a i have a shop of hosiery shop uh, i am selling that and near by my shop means in front of my shop another shop is open and that shop is also selling the hosiery and what happened the nearby shop is open and they are selling the hosiery the sale of that business was going little bit down and she saw the person is selling much of the hosiery so by looking that she might having feelings that my business is lessening and from that the jealousy start yeah. and so i took the rubric element from jealousy burning micturations general hot dustless and i prescribed apis to my surprise third day she came to me with the all report uti report was negative and she has no burning and everything was went on so this is what the general indications of the jealousy now why jealousy feeling comes into this urinary tract uh, affection so when we understand the uh, conflict related to the urinary tract affections especially lower uh, ureters and urinary, urinary bladders and the urethra so in that that uh, this part of the uh, system is to mark the territory means when in a olden uh, era when the evolution started the all the animal is starting to mark the territory by making peace on the particular boundaries so in that form the urinary system is uh, genetically made that i have to mark the my territory and by marking my territory i do not allow anyone to intrude into my territory so this lead to the conflict of territorial anger so when someone is trying to intrude into the boundary of their and that leading to the anger and this leading to the this feeling so this is what something that there is a anger but anger cannot be expressed i i said in the cyst also that there is a hemorrhage but hemorrhage is suggestive that there is a anger but anger cannot come out 
so anger is come out in a different form that my territory is at stake my territory or my boundary is at stake i need to mark territory more more and more so i need to piece off more 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 and that leading to bladder inflammations and uti hope you got this conflict are you getting me so this is the reason behind that the production of the jealousy so this territorial anger leading to jealousy of a business because of she is very busy in business you know so by making this process i understand jealousy as a ailment and i prescribe aptis and the patient got wonderful result so whenever you find urinary tract affections whenever you find a lower urinary tract affection not the kidney the kidney has a different conflict and the ureter and the bladder has a different conflict so for that when you find lower urinary tract inf infections inflammations or any pathology you need to ask about what happened into your surrounding and your territory that is very important and according to the patient perceptions and according to the miasmatic process you have to take the feeling perceptions of the patients and enter into the case hope you got the point are you getting me yeah so ailment from jealousy another ailment is a fright being a being a insect remedy being a small creature they may be crushed they may be pounded they may be smashed so there is a component of the fear and that is a fright so this is what ailment from the fright the reaction is rage see there is a rage at the mental level and there is a violent inflammation at the physical level so the reactions is rage there is a vexation vexation is something that anger which cannot be expressed and which can be covered up so continuous process is going on so it leading to the psychotic process vexations there is a bad news bad effect of the acute exanthema anything which comes out which can not be out by the local suppressions and when you suppress this it produce the psychotic process so bad effect of acute exanthema so same way it is uh, imperfectly developed suppressed measles or urticaria so when the patient comes to you with the suppressed urticaria and landing with the, some cardiac affections or a bronchial asthma or something else so you can think of epis mellifica so what are the entry point so entry point is hot thirstless diligent right sided so my sir has right every door of the remedy the most jealous creature on the earth another being lacasis how same as that nax omega always busy busy as a bee all everybody knows about it jealousy busy and industrious these are the psychotic aspect of the epis mellifica very aggressive and angry remedy very competitive cheerful and lascivious kind of see lasciviousness comes into all animal remedies so and there is a competitiveness because jealousy can lead to the competitiveness these are the common features of suspiciousness why suspiciousness comes i have to uh, mark my territory and i am being crushed and pounded or smashed so i have to become alert and i have to become suspicious about something so this is suspiciousness very angry and dominating all have known affections of urinary drag so these are the entry point of the epis mellifica so what are the entry point in the children when you find approaching approaching an extroverted children and comfortable with the physicians so when child enter into the clinic what are the uh, point you have to observe so if the physician is on guard it is tarantula if the child is on guard it is lacasis if nobody is on guard it is a apis so this was written by dr sripath kadekar in his book nucleus of remedy so and he was the student of dr vijaykar sir so he has mentioned this three point now we have to understand all three are the insect remedy all three are the animal remedy 
so what is the main theme of animal they are being a teamid but the teamidity is not expressed at certain level so when the tarantula comes into your clinic what happens the tarantula being so much so restless so much so naughty type of personality and very violent in nature so they are making clinic at mesh so physician has to be too alert that this child when come into the my clinic i have to put my laptop at a specific point i have to put my very valuable thing because this child may broke that thing so this is what something that physician is on the guard that is a tarantula so when the lekesh child enter into clinic what happen so lekeshan is being very very suspicious and having the feeling of being injured and having the feeling of being spied upon so lekesh is comes into clinic by very watchful very very careful and they see the environment very carefully and then they open up so the child is on guard that is kind of lekesh so lekesis is a secondary extrovert yes dr leta it is absolutely right it is secondary extrovert and the apis apis being a very stable in their mind because there is anger inside but they shows mildness outside and there is something no guard by the physician as well as no guard by the patients so this is what something that you have to understand the apis is very approach extroverted and comfortable with the physicians who you got this point very important aspect awkwardness drop thing do very careful even though they are taking very care they drop the things from the hands they stumble and fumble while walking so this is what hot awkwardness very important in children is constant weaning in children with days and night without a cause very irritable child so we saw in the constitutions that irritable temperament so the child having irritability very weeny and with days and night without any cause physically very hyperactive and destructive kind of personality there is inflammation of the meninges and that leading to the meningitis and finally due to meningitis there is a irritability at the mental level and there is a cry and that cry was a shrieking shrieking cry when you find shrieking cry you can think of apis is the remedy another entry point of the physical is dropsy from the suppressed emotion eruption so when there is a sore has got suppressed okay. it produce accumulations at the inner organs so there is a dropsy aversion to water this is first class remedy it is syphilis it goes into aversion to water ailment from the rage and fury again always borrow trouble again it is another remedy like acetic acid always borrow trouble उधार में बीमारी लेना उधार में प्रॉब्लम लेना दिस इज ऑलवेज ट्रबल्स ब्रेक द थिंग्स एंड लाफ ओवर इट वेरी सिफिलिटिक सिम्टम्स अनदर रेमेडी व्हिच यू थिंक्स इज व्हेन यू रेप्रिमेंड सर्टेन चाइल्ड एंड चाइल्ड लव द रेमेडी इज ग्रेफाइटिस बट व्हेन द पेशेंट ब्रेक सर्टेन थिंग्स एंड लाफ ओवर इट द रेमेडी इज एपिस मेलिफिका इट इज अ वेरी सिक पीक्यूआरएस रूब्रिक sexual mania so the remedy is erotomania apis is a wonderful remedy in erotomania ameliorated by the cold milk burning and stinging as general pain a ruling and rule out point so ruling point angry competitive thrillers routinely busy industrious urinary affections awkward these are the ruling point when you find mildness but you have to understand the patient look mild in front of you but internally there is a angerness what i saw in, in the hemorrhagic remedy the patient disposition was mild but the pathology says something that different so this is what it is not mildness you know and submissive when you find mildness and submissive you can rule out apis so acute picture of the apis sir always says 
three indication edema urinary complaint angry and dominating you can think of apes dull hot thirsty or thirstless or mental anxiety hot and thirstless these are the pointer in acute picture edema associated urinary symptoms angry and dominating you can see in acute chart mental picture along with the acute process is angry dominating jealousy sometimes they comes into sadness indifference and stuporous condition dr sandeep has rightly said this is the acute phase of the apis when apis come into sad indifferent and stuporous conditions along with there is a meningeal irritations and there is a shrieking cry inflammations of the meninges in the brain leading to this state there is a indication that the face was edematous eyelid was edematous frequency of the urine but the urine is very scanty this is very pqrs of the apis loss of speech or inability to talk there is a aphasia with the fever very pqrs does not complain so it goes into either indifferent state or either into the contented state shrieking in the sleep due to irritations at the meningeal level these are the acute entry point of the apis now we have to go to the trimyelomatic pictures so how soric present uh, soric apis present to us so in a sora there is a inflammation specifically inflammations of the urinary tract it is a recurrent urinary tract inflammations acute urticaria areas acute inflammation with the intense redness shininess erysipelas eruptions and frequent micturations at the physical acute arthritis with the heat of the part so there is inflammations of the joint and heat of the part with the redness so when you find this you can think of soric apis mentally the mentally she will be very sensitive person so what is the sensitive sensitive to touch even sensitive to job and justing on herself like natremure so when you think natremure the acute of natremure is apis you know there is a natremure also a awkwardness awkwardness out of worry in a chronic state the same way apis is like this so apis has also sensitivity to jokes natremure also have a sensitivity to jokes and jesting on herself she will be very irritable angry and independent independent in a soric stage she is very very industrious and always remain busy they are very diligent in nature psychotic apis so when the inflammation goes into accumulative disorders or edema or accumulative process into the physical level so we have physically there is edema there is anasarca there is a puffy eyelids and puffiness of the parts specifically face edematous swelling of the nephrotic syndrome so when you find nephrotic syndrome provided the all the uh, presentations and disposition of the patient you can think of acute nephrotic syndrome the apis is a wonderful remedy chronic arthritis with the swelling ovarian cyst and the tumor so there is accumulations the tumor and cancer specifically the cancer of the tongue the serous cancers and the indurated hard tumors mentally mentally they are very very dissatisfied and discontented they are dictatorial dominating jealousy obstinate head strong so these are the psychotic aspect of the apis now when apis goes into sublytic state what happen so when the inflammation goes into accumulations and accumulation goes into destruction so it produce ulceration perforating corneal ulcer very important it produce abortions destructions of the life it produce renal failures it produce ulcer with a destructive pathology like a serous cancer 
so mentally mentally also they become indifferent apathetic like sepia phosphoric acid phosphorus there is a rage and fury violent anger there is a jealousy with satariasis jealousy with nymphomania there is a violence and vehemence so doctrine of signature b as a bc so they are very industrious they are the social insect and very duty conscious each one is busy with their allocated work the queen the worker the drones are the present in the nest each one doing their duty it is one big colony very possessive if the queen is not there the whole swarm moves away and will not be ruled by another queen they have a very strong family feeling fight and die to protect their houses no other swarm of the bee can come and make their house the queen does not rule but she is the force that hold them together for the preparation of the remedy it is the not only the queen bee but the whole lot of bee is crushed so we get the character of the queen worker and the drones the worker get excited and disorganized if the queen is not there in the nest because she has the capability her, her will be done not because of her dictatorial and dominating nature so busy as a bee all about basic things in the life so survival is there the most important aspect is family so my security super high physical sex drive so i just want it this is a very sexual remedy so due to their sexuality there is sexual uh, ness and shamelessness so most of time you can found super short skirts and transparent blouses these are the remedy which is apis the worst is the trouble in the family when they have, they are being worst when there is a trouble in the family because they does not allow another intruder into the family relationship they are very committed and yet jealous want a quick practical solutions let me know what is the job is i will do it and then i will go home so these are the interested kind of personality and they are working on their job and they are going to the home so these are the basic point of b clear parenting and home well kept so home well kept means another classification they are very fastidious about their home controlling and dictatorial so mental personality the mentally apis is very quiet like a bee busy and active constantly industrious workaholic and task oriented they are straight forward and no introspective but aggressive if he or family is betrayed or crossed because they control the family very protective about the family and they are jealous about their something happening into the family and they are very very practical and business oriented so strong family orientations like calcarea absent minded cannot concentrate and finally goes into indifferent and apathetic state and due to that there is a awkwardness and they fall the things from the hands they laugh silly at the mishap that's why when the things are break they laugh because they know the awkwardness they have so unconsciousness impaired memory and slow march of the idea weeping cannot help crying children constantly weeping crying shrieking during sleep cannot be able to be left alone busy and restless depression as if she would die without fear of death there is a sexual mania there is a increased sexual desire specifically in widows with a much jealousy and fear of being poisoned this is very indicating the in the widows there is a low maturing delirium following suppress eruption so from ectoderm to the neuroectoderm the disease goes and it lead to the delirium state low maturing you can think of apis great restlessness fidgety and foolishly suspicious there is a no cause to suspicious over anything but they are foolishly suspicious on the family and everyone and that leading to the jealousy and everything and the cause started so physical the guiding 
there is a trembling and jerking of the twitching of the one half of the body especially hemiplegia it affecting the right sided symptom go from the right to left sensitive to touch even touch of the hair is very painful desire exercise and emulated by exercise like cp physical symptom burning stinging lancinating everywhere in the body what remedy aggravated by what emulated by cold there is a tension swelling stiffness of the limb tired bruise feeling all over the body prostration up to faintness this is what weakness goes into faintness edema swelling either local or general at the level of skin it produces waxes almost transparent skin dropsical conditions alternating with the dry perspirations very important edema with thirstlessness classical indication nsr ka with thirstlessness you can think of apis clinical applications abortions and angioneuritic edema arthritis cystitis herpes zoster meningitis nephritis pericarditis pleurisy pneumonia pyelonephritis urticaria so apis has a slow actions and must not be changed too soon increased flow of the urine shows that the remedy has started acting favorably when you prescribe apis what was the indications when there is a flow of urine is increased you can directly think is the why the scene is working a complete stupor yield to the apis after opium phase when opium fail in a stuporous conditions apis is indicated very important aspect clinical understanding should be given cautiously during the first 3 month of the pregnancy in a low potency liable to produce miscarriage it is the clinical indication of copper weight that states when you prescribe apis low potency in the first 3 month it can cause abortions apis for the drug burns iodine and chloroform the doctor pulford has used specifically in the burns chloroform burns and iodine burns apis is the indicated remedy these are just the clinical applications are you getting me so there are few unique symptoms i will share with you awkwardness puberty in girl so at the puberty when the girl become awkwardness directly see pulsatilla is the remedy for puberty but when there is a awkwardness associated with puberty in a girl the remedy is apis Yes, yes, yes. I mean, thank you, sir. Break thing, desire to, and laughing about is very peculiar. Busy young girl doing nothing right, specifically in amenorrhea. Everything does wrong, especially busy young girl, specifically in amenorrhea. Cheerful, simulate hilarity while he feels rage. so internally so much so anger so much so anger and, and there is a vexations but they shows outward as a cheerful like natra so it is a acute of natra psychotic picture death convictions beasting after after mujhe ani bhi ne kaata hai aur patient says ab to main marne wali hu the apis is the only remedy death convictions organic disease of heart so i said that is a thrombotic phenomena in the heart there is a organic disorder like the uh, uh, valvular obstructions there is a dilated myocardiopathy with edematous conditions and the pericarditis and pericardial infusion uh, in uh, infusions and there is a constant feeling of the death conviction you can think of apis death present means with the constriction of the chest death present in sudden specifically in peritonitis inflammations of the peritoneum fearlessness thinking of death foolish behavior in hysteria these are the unique symptoms of apis indifferent apathy bad news afters 
laughing silly foolish puberty in girls mirth hilarity liveliness simulates hilarity while she feel rage rage fury night in typhoid fever suspicious foolishly i said everything but uh, these are the unique symptoms of the aps now you want to understand delirious condition of the aps so when aps goes into delirious which kind of delirium aps can go into so when you find physically there is a chronic diarrhea which is out of control and it goes into delirious conditions at the mental level you can think of the only remedy is aps when there is the inflammations of the meninges especially in infant and an infant goes into shaking cry and delirious condition the only remedy is aps when there is a menstrual complaint and the female goes into delirious state either menstrual complaint of any kind of irregularity you can think of aps when there is a hypomania or eruptive disease which leading to the delirious conditions neuroectodermal disease and there is a muttering you can think of aps specifically measles also when there is a paralysis and person goes after paralysis goes into raging and raving and violent become in a paralysis you can think of aps so these are the delirious state of the aps when person goes into madness and jealousy a madness and insanity after being jealous of incidents in the family in the environment you can think of aps very important when there is a nymphomania and a jealousy you can think of aps sleep is disturbed incoherent and muttering delirium think of aps nymphomania with indifference and ap apathy think of aps shrieking during sleep and dentitions in children you can think of aps shrieking screaming shouting sharp and sudden children during sleep and when asked what hurts they reply nothing very important single remedy is aps bachcha neend mein se jaag jata hai rota hai shout karta hai achanak and ya ask kya hua beta kuch nahi so when they say nothing prescribe aps very important clinically when you find acute nephritis acute nephritis inflammations of the kidney inflammation of the parenchyma of the kidney with the following symptoms just prescribe aps you will get wonderful result first and foremost thing mouth tongue clean and clear like epica and there is acute bright disease nephritis aps is the indicator remedy there is a vomiting of a mucus in nephritis aps is the remedy inflammation dropsy ascites and there is a acute inflammations of the kidney aps is the remedy abdominal pain pain in abdomen and acute nephritis is the aps kidney pain pyelonephritis acute aps when you find urine is bloody specifically in acute nephritis only remedy is aps when there is anemia in acute nephritis the remedy is aps swelling in the lumbar region specifically in the acute pyelonephritis think of aps edematous swelling of the extremity in acute nephritis think of aps along with the hot fastless right sided sleepiness in acute nephritis when we have a sleepiness we can think of the nux nux moschata opium and timpan but when there is a sleepiness in acute uti you can think of aps along with there is a fastlessness in acute inflammatory nephritis think of aps when you find ovarian affection see when you find a kidney affection these are the clinical indication when you find ovarian affections 
So ovary and lung, both are affected in single patient. You can think of APIs. Very important. Ogre boring was in concomitant symptoms. Ovary and lung complain with cancer of ovary with the faintings. And there is a cancer and the tendency to faint. You can think of APIs. There is a ovary congestion, means edemations, inflammation, swelling of the ovary and suppressed menses by means of any pills you can think of APIS. Right ovary affected along with the right pectoral region pain. So there is a chest complaint, right pectoral region pain, and right ovary is affected, you can think of APIS. So the rubric is pain ovary extending to the right meme. Right ovary to right meme. Right ovary to left meme, you can think of asteriasis rubens. Pain ovary, abortion in, swelling ovary with thrustlessness, simple. When you find PCOD, hot thrustless, first time you have to think of clinically is Epis mellifica. Tumor, hard right ovary, indurated hard tumor right ovary. It is a cancer of ovary. You can think of Epis. Again, tumor, soft ovary, also you can think of Apis. Hemorrhage. There is a hemorrhage, hatred from, hemorrhage, jealousy from, hemorrhage internal, which we saw in our case, hemorrhage internal organ, hemorrhage dark and black, faintness, fainting, hemorrhage from, yawning, hemorrhage with, very important aspect, yawning, hemorrhage with. So these are the clinical indications of the hemorrhage. In nutshell, Jealousy, suspicious, awkward, hysterical woman, especially widow with ailment from rage, vexation, bad news and jealousy. Burning, stinging, sore pain, relieved by cold water. Edematous puppy swelling, local or general without thirst, but fever with thirst at 3 p.m. Associated with the strangury and urinary complaint. Hot, thirstless, right-sided, edematous, toxical state, burning, stinging, pain, and relieved by cold. So, I'm concluding my understanding of the APIs in this lecture. And if you have any questions, we have a chat box. Please write it. And I'm here for 10 to 15 minutes to answer your cases, uh, questions. Hope you got uh, the nutshell understanding of the APIs. Any questions? <clears throat> indifference, Dr. Lata has asked the question, indifference and contented. So contented means not complaining and indifference means no difference. This is the state. So when there is a no difference with any situation, they become indifference. So the reactions become sad, morose and everything. Contented means no complaining. I don't want to complain, even though I have complained. So this is a, a milder differentiation. And you can go through the dictionary meaning of each and every one. You can find a very clear cut difference of this. Hope you got this point. Any questions regarding APIs? And understanding of the APIs. Yes. Uh, Dr. Swati, the very important question, not about just uh, 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 bee sting uh, indications, but uh, I will answer you, Dr. Dr. Lucifer, your questions, yes. Uh, Dr. Swati, not only in the bee sting, whenever, see, understanding of the criteria of the potency, what I learned from the predictive school, and Dr. Amit Panchal has given uh, the classical indications, you have to understand first and foremost, 
what type of disease is presenting to you the disease is either a dynamic or a dynamic so when you find a dynamic disease or a dynamic your potential selection is very easy and second criteria you have to understand the miasmatic aspect the patient is in a soric state patient is in a psychotic state or patient is in a syphilitic state so when you find dynamicity so dynamicity mostly found in a sora and a syphilitic state the first syphilitic and in a soro psychotic state of uh, accumulative or biochemical changeical changes pathology you know so there is when there is a dynamic changes so dynamicity is moving so when there is a moving there is a dynamization the simple criteria is when there is a dynamization you can prescribe higher potency lower the dosage that means lower the drug content so higher potency so when there is a dynamization you can prescribe either a 200 1 m 10 m 50 m c m okay and when there is a a dynamic that means there is no dynamization there is a static pathology like a hard indurated tumor like a synthesis or like a fibrin excess in that case you have to give a a dynamic potency a dynamic potency is a low potency either a 30 or 200 and there is a a dynamicity you have to repeat again and again and again for a frequent interval so in organ aphorism number 245 there is a clear cut written that uh, in a acute case you can repeat one hourly two hourly six hourly eight hourly or in a very urgent case you can prescribe every 15 minutes when there is a dynamicity is more and in a chronic case where is there is no dynamicity you can prescribe daily alternate day or every fourth day repetitions hope you got my answer dr swati so in uh, beasting there is uh, indication is either you prescribe one m or 10 m dr lucifer what i mention is the chocolate cyst itself so in a chocolate cyst everything is resolved you see the report and i have many cases of chocolate cyst which is resolved in a very short span of the uh, treatment with the homeopathy so it can be resolved with the predictive homeopathy and only homeopathy the homeopathy has the potentials dr viba two rubric which i mention in my uh, today's sessions which i usually uh, take in a chocolate cyst cases approach uh, the hemorrhage internal and tumor cyst ovary along with the, the psychosyphilitic state so you have to find a psychosyphilitic disposition of the patient and enter the disposition in the case and prescribe you will get wonderful result in chocolate cyst no doubt any questions Doctor Lata, very good questions. Uh, in an adynamic uh, state, you have to repeat unless and until there is a change in the adynamicity or a pathology. Once you find the change in the pathology, do not repeat. It is clear that mentioned by Hanuman that when you find a changes in the adynamicity, don't repeat. I had I had uh, seen a case of a sir. Uh, sir and tumor of the brain uh, and in which sir has prescribed uh, phosphorus 30 potency weekly for one year long and that patient has resolved the brain tumor so this is not the time how should i have to decide you have to decide according to the cases hope you got your answer Doctor Sandeep, for territorial conflict, you need to read the GNM. I will give you a site: uh, www. learning uh, gnm gnm. com, and from where you can find the conflict about the territory conflict, and everything is fine. Uh, thank you, predictive. Thank you, Paul. Uh, hope we end up with this, and. 
thank you so much for patience listening uh, my session it's a thank you from the honey bee wow. thank you all <laughs> Dr. Arthi, it is a wrong approach. PCOD goes into hemorrhages, means psychosis goes into syphilis. You have to change the remedy. Thank you all. Thank you.